Hey guys, and welcome to the ultimate toilet training guide for your puppy or your older dog. If you get an older dog, often rescue dogs, that isn't trained yet to go toilet outside. Super important and one of the most frustrating things probably is a dog peeing or pooping inside of your house. So uh, let's get started on how to fix that. So toilet training your pup or dog can be tricky and tedious. Um, I've made a list of tips on how to make this process as easygoing as possible. All right, ready? Here we go. First of all, and I'm really passionate about this, is we should not be using any pee pads, training pads, puppy mats, whatever you call them. These paper things here that the puppy is sitting on in the picture, we don't use those. Um, the reason for that is because it teaches your dog that peeing inside the house is an option and it should not be an option. The thing is that if you teach them to pee inside the house, then when they get a bit older, you now have to teach them like, actually, what I taught you before, you're not allowed to do that anymore. So now you have to go outside. Yeah. Um, but by then, your pup is so used to peeing on a mat like that, that they will look at a towel and be like, oh, this is kind of like a, pee -pee, like a puppy training mat. Or they will see a doormat, a rug, your carpet. And they'll just transfer that skill that you've taught them to objects that you really do not want them to toilet on. So I never ever recommend using pee pads. Um, if you live in an apartment and you really have no other option um, when it comes to your dog toileting inside, I would go for like a fake grass patch, um, like those fake grass ones and teach them that because at least that that structure is different they have to kind of hop into it um and it mimics grass so when you go outside your dog won't be all surprised by oh i don't know how to pee on something that's not a mat yeah so really training pads puppy pads big fat no don't do it um 90 percent of puppies respond to training really quickly <clears throat> especially like most pu puppies can be toilet mostly toilet trained within the week if you are super consistent with your effort your positive reinforcement and your structure like you need to have your eyes on your puppy and it's gonna work you need to set up your pup for success that means that if they're not supervised because you're busy they should be contained in an area like a crate or a playpen so they cannot make the mistake of peeing in a corner that you didn't want them to go to. And lastly, we do not punish for accidents. Yeah, that's super outdated, um, <clears throat> especially the ones where they say you need to rub their nose in the, the pee. Like, it's freaking cruel. Don't do it. It's unnecessary. It doesn't teach them anything, um, especially if you find it maybe five or ten minutes after they've gone to the toilet your puppy has no idea why you're doing that yeah it's happened it was your fault for not paying attention now leave the pup alone we do not do any weird punishing for peeing in the house all right quick beginner's guide so first what you need to do is put your pup on a schedule yeah, you take them out every hour on the hour. So I'm recording this right now. It's 3.45 p.m. So if I had a puppy, I look at the clock. So now every time when it's quarter two, I'm going to take my dog outside. If you're watching this and you look at the clock right now, that's the hour you're going to take your puppy outside every time. So if it's 10 past, every hour at 10 past, you go outside. Set an alarm on your phone. It goes off, beep, beep, beep. All right, take the puppy out. Even if they don't seem like they have to go toilet. Yeah, just get them in the routine of walking them out. And walk them out. Don't just carry them. Because then they never find the way to the door that you want them to go to. Additionally, you also need to take them out after every time they eat. After every big play session. After every big sleep. 
and after every drink, unless you have a puppy that literally likes to go to the water bowl to do one lick of water and then carry on. Like some dogs are like that. But if your dog has like a good big drink, maybe wait five minutes and then it's outside time. Every time your pup does go to the toilet or your dog, you praise. Yay, good dog, well done. Yeah, when they go to the toilet on their own. Awesome, definitely praise that one. You can use a treat, but you don't have to. I don't think I ever use treats for toilet training, but you can if you want to. It really doesn't matter. Do you, if, what, what do you do if you catch them in the act of going to the toilet um, in the house? You say a firm no, and you pick them up, even if they're peeing mid-business, and you take them outside, and they can finish there. Yeah, usually when you pick them up, they'll stop. <laughs> they, they very rarely carry on peeing or doing a poo if, um, if you pick them up. Yeah, like a little startle response. You say, nope, and you take them out. That's all the correction your dog needs for doing business inside the house. Yeah, that, that's all. We don't do anything else. Were you too late? Tough luck. Just wipe it up. You try the next time again. Okay. Important and beneficial steps to help you create a dog or create train a dog that is toilet trained even quicker. Using a crate or a playpen, if you really don't want to use a crate, is going to make your life so much easier. Dogs don't like to go to the toilet where they sleep. So that teaches them to hold on, especially at night. Yeah. And it teaches them that if they do need to go, they need to let it be known. Yeah, they might cry, they might whine, they might bark to let you know, hello, let me out, I need to go toilet. Yeah, and that's your cue to get up and take them out. And sometimes that might mean you don't walk them, you just pick them up and you go. Um, and that means that you do have to get up a few times in the middle of the night, especially when your pup's about eight weeks old, maybe up till 10 weeks, um, until they can sleep through the night. But the crate helps you because if your puppy can sleep wherever they want, what they do is they don't learn how to indicate that they have to go toilet. They just get up. They move to a corner where they're not sleeping. They just quickly do the business and then they're back to their bed and you would have just slept through it or you wouldn't have noticed it. And that's how the habit becomes like ingrained in your dog that they can go anywhere to the toilet. Yeah, so I also use a crate during the day. So say your puppy has eaten, he's gone outside to go toilet, awesome. Now he has like maybe an hour of free time to play with you and all that kind of stuff. Go toilet again. And now you need to do some chores. Maybe you need to get showered or you need to cook or you need to quickly run to the supermarket for 15 minutes. Yeah, what do you do? You put your puppy in the crate or in the playpen, in the confined space, because again, they don't like to go toilet where they sleep, okay? And that really, really, really helps with them learning, oh, I've got to hold it till mom or dad takes me out again, and then I can go to the toilet, yeah? So using a crate or playpen usually accelerates your toilet training by a lot. Additionally, you need to learn how to look for signs. Yeah, puppies, dogs usually show you beforehand that they have to go, but they can be subtle depending on your dog. Yeah, some dogs start circling, some start sniffing, some will scratch at the door or the window if they know that's how they can get out, some will whine, some will bark, and they're all signs that if you miss them, the fault is on you. And I don't really like to say fault because we're all learning here. It's not a big deal if you make a mistake. But in general, if your puppy doesn't have access to go outside by him or herself and you miss all the signs, then that's on you, not on your puppy. Because your puppy might have tried four different ways to say like, I need to really go toilet. If you don't let me out now, it's going to be an accident. Yes, yeah, so if you miss it, that's on you. 
So make sure you look for the signs and you teach everyone in the house the signs as well. What also really helps you is to not give your pup full access to the house. You don't have eyes in the back of your head, so giving your pup full access means you can't stay on top of it and they can easily wander off for a quick pee when you're not looking. So you limit the space using a playpen or a crate. Freedom is earned, not given. Yeah, so again, that might mean that they only get the kitchen when you're in the kitchen. They only get the living room when you're in the living room. We we block places off so they can't wander off and get into the habit of peeing in certain spots. Okay, that's really quite important. Like these three, I think, supercharge most toilet training. Yeah, if you can be on top of these three... I guarantee you it's going to go really, really fast. Now, one of the many issues people have with toilet training is this one. My pup goes to the toilet inside even after we have just been outside. Now, let's quickly problem solve that one. can tell you this happens often. This happens to nearly every single pup or dog. Yeah, the reason for that is that when you start walking your pup, they're so excited and overwhelmed by the outside world that sometimes they just forget to go toilet because, oh my God, I'm having so much fun or, oh my God, I don't feel safe enough to go toilet here. Yeah, because it's very vulnerable. The moment they come home, the excitement is gone or the anxiety is gone And then they can't hold it anymore. It just hits them. And it's like, oops, accident. Yeah. Um, It's kind of like when kids play on the playground and they're having a great time and they need to go toilet, but they are so busy playing, they forget they have to go toilet. Then what happens? They either have an accident or they come see you and they say, mom, I need to go toilet. And And then you have like zero time to actually make it to the toilet. Uh, They waited too long. So that happens kind of for dogs as well. If your puppy doesn't pee or poo outside yet, take them straight to the spot they usually go and keep them on a lead for it. Yeah, so say you've gone for your walk, they didn't go toilet at all. Don't just clip the lead off and let them run into the house. Walk them straight to the spot where they are comfortable to go to the toilet and go there, okay? Initially, you need to go out in all types of weather. We don't want dogs that don't go out for their business when it's raining. Yeah, that can be super tedious. Make sure you're outside with them, even if it pours, because I can tell you most dogs, if it pours, they don't want to be outside and you'll have to go outside with them. Just bring an umbrella and push through deciding when you and the puppy is like convenient here because winter is not the nicest time to get a puppy because you'll end up standing outside a fair amount of time um then my puppy only plays when outside and i'm out there forever yeah so for this one you'll also have to use a lead again they're just getting distracted exploring the world um And with the lead, you can kind of keep them on task and limit the area that your dog can go to. So, no, right now is toilet time. Let's go. Be quick. If you just let your dog go by himself outside and they come in and they pee straight away inside, you need to supervise them because they have probably forgotten that they needed to go. Yeah. And they got distracted again. They're like little babies, right? When a puppy comes to you at eight weeks old, they are newborns, basically. So we can't expect them to make all the right choices themselves when they are so young. These are my top tips. Honestly, oh, there is one that I forgot to write down, and that is when you clean up, make sure you're using the right cleanup spray. Because some of them have ammonia in it and that will make your dog go back to that spot and pee over it. Yeah, so if you have any cleaning detergents or sprays that you use to clean up, make sure there is no ammonia in it. That can also help. All right. It can be handy 
to track your training. If you're a person that loves ticking boxes, this is for you. You can print this out. There's a link in the description um, on, on where to get it. Yeah. And you can put it on your fridge so you can track how things are going. This is especially handy if several people in the household are trying to house train and you might not see each other all the time. So basically, uh, it's an accident tracker. Yeah. So if you have lots of ticks in here, you know that we need to work on something. And then what I did is I, I tried to um, make it so you know when it happens. So maybe you see a pattern. So if you see that there's lots of ticks here in the after play column, that means you need to pay more attention during playtime. Or if you get a lot of ticks because your dog did business and you had no idea they did unsupervised, you know okay, cool, I need to supervise better. Or we're missing a lot in the evening. Okay, what do we need to do to get better at it in the evening? Yeah, so it's kind of, it's not really a track of, of oh, we need to look at the puppy and what they did wrong. It's about what did you miss and how can we fix that? Okay, so that's the handling tracking tra uh, sheet. And then this little document here, you can download that as well. Um, it's just everything I just said in a quick PDF handout that you can put up the fridge if you want to, because maybe not the whole family wants to listen to this. Um, and then you should be good to go. What we need with puppy with toilet training is just be persistent, stick to it. And I promise you in a few weeks, you'll forget even had to do toilet training you'll be like oh my gosh we have zero accidents for a whole week now we're we've got it okay all right guys now it's up to you you need to start training and hopefully you easily train your puppy or your rescue dog with these steps all right guys all the best and i'll see you next time